Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a quick tutorial for you on how to refresh grout that you may have somewhere in your house. So we have two and a half bathrooms in this house and our bathrooms all have the same kind of white tile. I don't know the material. It was here before we got here. I'm going to guess probably like a white ceramic. And I believe the traditional grout color is probably, I would guess, light gray airing on the side of white. And I don't know that it was ever sealed. So if you've ever dealt with grout before, especially grout that wasn't sealed, it's very porous. It likes to kind of suck up all the things, all the dirt, all the nasty, gross stuff. And then over time it gets very dingy, really hard to clean, things like that. So, but this grout refresh is an actual product that will refresh your grout. So if you'd like to learn a really quick, easy way to give your bathroom a quick little facelift, you don't have to do any kind of real scrubbing, then this video is for you, so keep watching. This is our bathroom, obviously, and I don't think the grout that's down there, I really have no idea what color it's actually supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like a light gray, but it obviously stained really easily. I'm not really sure if it was ever um, sealed. So down here you can kind of see, like this is the color that it is now, and I just think it looks really dirty and gross. Um, under here where it's not such a trafficy area you can see where it's more like a light gray so that's what we're gonna do it just has stained really easily and um, it's just really gross so we're gonna clean it up by like sweeping mopping clean it up I mean and then go ahead and put on our layer all right so this is what it looks like up close it's the Mapei, M-A-P-E-I, I don't know, Grout Refresh. This is the Warm Gray. I don't know that I would consider it Warm Gray. I think it's a much cooler gray, but whatever. Um, you can apply it a couple of ways. I'm just going to kind of run it down this line and honestly use a gloved hand and just squish it in there. You can also use a toothbrush. This is a little extra kids toothbrush we have that I decided to use. Um, I did it on our ba other bathroom yesterday that has the same tile, and it worked well too. You don't need a lot. This is going to go a long way. I have another bathroom after this big space to do, and I know without a doubt that it will cover that too. So let's get started. <music> like I'm not the cleanest when it comes to this um, I put it on there I let it sit for about an hour and eh, I was gonna say probably more like two hours so this is what it looks like now and then you just spray it with water and you can see how easy it comes off like I'm just rubbing it obviously right um, and then it just leaves this beautiful grout Real grout does not scrub off like this. So the, just like to point that out. But you can see what it's left with. I assure you, that is not what it looked like before. Are you helping? Are you helping? Okay, 
so this is what it looks like the next day and all I did last night well from the last video was remove all the excess grout or the recover and this is what it looks like now you I really need to like scrub and clean the floors but you have to wait 24 hours before you can do that before you can get it wet I should say see we're always nearby and but I'm just so happy with how it turned out it is a really good gray color I mean it works I'm so impressed I mean $11.99 for that little bottle and it's gonna do we have two and a half bathrooms so it's gonna work amazingly and it just kind of blows my mind honestly that some it was a tedious process but it was so easy well that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was just a really simple way for me to refresh our grout without really having to scrub and you know make a mixture that I felt like was going to work and get in there with a wire brush or a toothbrush so this made it pretty easy if I did it again I would definitely apply less product you could see just from running that material down kind of like the grout strip I just was using way too much and I was using the lightest pressure I could on the bottle so maybe use a q-tip maybe put it on your finger and then drag it down the grout so just some things to keep in mind but it's a very inexpensive product again it was $11 for the bottle I still have plenty left in the bottle so it was so easy to wipe off the floors cleaned up really well afterwards so definitely a product I recommend. I've linked everything down in the description box for you below if you're looking for that product or something similar, so you should be able to find it really easy, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!